Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Sandra and I make videos all about cybersecurity, having a career in technology as well as work vlogs. And today's topic is gonna be another very common question that is in my comments, which is cybersecurity analysts versus cybersecurity engineers. Now this is a question that I actually had myself when I was first starting out because many entry level and early career roles in cybersecurity are either cybersecurity analysts or cybersecurity engineers. And from there, that's when people tend to niche down based on whatever interests that they have in the field. So today I'll be going over an overview of cyber engineers versus analysts, how technical or non-technical they are, the skills, background, and education needed to get one of these two roles, as well as juicy stuff like salary. And if this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up to help support the channel. So at a very high level, you can think of a cybersecurity engineer as someone who builds the tools that a cybersecurity analyst uses to then try to detect or prevent different attacks coming into your company. So first starting off with a more in-depth overview of what a cybersecurity engineer is. So like I mentioned earlier, this is a role where you're actually going to be building out different infrastructures, building out different tools. You might be coding. Um, you're a lot more likely to be coding compared to someone in an analyst role where the most that they might be doing is some scripting. But for the most part, as an engineer, you're the one that's going to be building out platforms and using different technical tools. You're probably the one that's going to be more technical in terms of the hard skills that you're learning and knowing about what the most popular tools are in cybersecurity so then you can maybe help drive decisions for what tool you want to bring into your company for cybersecurity analysts to use. So if you think about it, cybersecurity engineers are also fundamentally defenders, but maybe not in the way that you think of defenders as in blue team, but instead they're the ones developing secure software. They're the ones developing secure systems and infrastructure so that basically your whole company is built on some foundation of cybersecurity. So the rest of the users and not just the cybersecurity team can benefit off of, of course, having a secure platform. If there are any threats that come into your company, these cybersecurity engineers are probably the ones that are doing the groundwork and the hands-on development work or tactical work to resolve those issues, create patches, fix any bugs or vulnerabilities. So they really have to stay on top of all the new technologies and all of the new attacks that are coming that are relevant to the technologies in your company or that your company is using. So if you're looking for a more hands-on technical um, slash development role in cybersecurity that is still very focused on infrastructure, networking, setting up secure components for your company, maybe like system design or building out applications, a cybersecurity engineer role is likely for you. Okay, so now on to cybersecurity analysts. So if you guys may or may not know, I work as a cybersecurity analyst. I was part of a rotational program, so I actually did get to switch through multiple different teams where I was able to try out many different roles in cybersecurity for my company. But in my opinion, a cybersecurity analyst title in itself is very broad just because you can be doing so many different things as an analyst. For example, one thing that you might be doing is, is using the tools that the cybersecurity engineers built to analyze, detect, prevent different attacks coming into your company. But you also might be in a more proactive role where you're trying to seek out information about different nation states or hackers or attackers that might be big in whatever field or sector that you're working in. And you're probably also keeping up with the latest trends and technologies, but more so on the hacking news side rather than the newest technology side compared to cybersecurity engineers, because you want to know what are the trends or technologies that hackers are trying to target these days and using all that information that you learn from different articles, news outlets, hacker blogs, all the data that you have in your own company, you're going to use this to try to make decisions for what the cybersecurity engineers might want to build out next, might want to fix or patch or create some kind of improvement on, on the technologies that you have in your current company. And of course, it's really just a mix of working together because each side knows different things. One might be more development focused or technical and the other side might take in a bunch of other factors and basically working together is the best way that cybersecurity analysts and engineers can make your company the most secure. As a cybersecurity analyst, you might also be looking at your own technology in your company and trying to see where the weaknesses are by analyzing all of these data points and metrics and basically coming up with ways to make your company more secure by making it less vulnerable to outside attacks. Of course, you would rather find your own bugs than having a random outside hacker come in and find those things for you. So cybersecurity analysts are usually looking through different metrics or logs or whatever dashboards that you're looking at to be able to see if there's any threats incoming, identify any suspicious activity, um, report it up the chain. And of course, this might look different in every company just because in a bigger company, you might have an SOC analyst doing things like this where they might be finding suspicious activity and bringing it up to a broader team or some kind of incident response team. And of course, with all the things that analysts are doing, you're likely also creating decks, presentations, some kind of report or a dashboard 
dashboard for your management team to review to help make future business decisions for your company as well as to help impact what cybersecurity engineers are building out and working on as well. Okay, so now that you have a broad overview of what a cybersecurity engineer versus an analyst looks like, let's look into how technical each of these rules are. So right off the bat, I'm sure many of you can tell, but a cybersecurity engineer is more technical than an analyst just because they are a lot more in the weeds in terms of technical skills, what they're looking at, the technologies they work with every day. They might be coding, they might be working on infrastructure, patching firmware, hardware, etc. So there's a lot more technical things that an engineer has to work on versus an analyst, but I really think that they're technical in different ways. Where an analyst is, might be looking for different suspicious activity or some kind of anomaly in the data or metrics that they have and it really depends what kind of person you are because some people might get really into digging into code building out systems for those people an engineer role might be better for you but if you're someone who is interested in looking at data finding patterns trying to hack into things trying to look for where issues are then an analyst role might be better for you but it's not to say that one is better than the other but rather they take on different roles and different skills in the company all right, so now let's look into background experience as well as education. So for the most part, since cybersecurity analysts and engineer roles can be a bit more beginner, I would say this definitely depends on the company because I've seen roles out there that hire cybersecurity analysts with one or less years of experience. But I've also seen roles where they ask for a cybersecurity analyst with five to eight years of experience. And honestly, I don't know the exact differences between what those companies are doing since I haven't worked for them and their you know, job listings job requirements are very generic and similar. I think you'll probably see this in many roles in technology because some companies want years and years of experience and it really just depends on what you're looking for in a company. But of course, I think that applying to as many roles as possible, even if you don't meet the years of experience requirements, is the best way to go about finding a new role. But in terms of the background needed for cybersecurity engineers, you're likely going to come from a background that has more technical components like software development, infrastructure, networking, dealing with firmware, hardware, software, things that are more technical as well as just having experience building out different systems and then as a cybersecurity analyst you may have the experience as someone who is really good at problem solving this could also be from a software development role or anything with an engineering background but i think also coming from a space where you're solving problems like it help desk being able to have people come to you with a problem and you finding a solution for it different business analyst roles where you're maybe looking at a lot of data and turning that into actual usable information in a dashboard or for management or for other engineering teams to look at and be able to make decisions off of that information that you're compiling. As well as maybe someone who also comes from a pen testing role where you're maybe used to looking for different vulnerabilities or being able to attack a system and finding its weak points to then be able to improve with the help of the engineering team or any other teams that you're working with in your company. And in terms of education, a cybersecurity engineer is probably going to come from an engineering background. They may have majored in computer science, math, physics, and a cybersecurity analyst could still major in all those fields, but they might also major in something like information technology, information systems, information sciences, or MIS, um, management information systems, which is a more business focused technology major. All right, so the next two things I wanted to discuss are salaries and certifications. So based on Glassdoor, a cybersecurity analyst makes on average about $80,000 per year. Of now, of course, this is gonna vary by state, by your city, by whatever the cost of living is in where you're living. But for the most part, this is a average national salary for cybersecurity analysts across the board. And I've also made a video before on how much you get paid in cybersecurity as an analyst, and I can link that below as well, which has everything from entry level to your late career, to having certifications and different degrees, etc. And now for a cybersecurity engineer, the average salary in the US for a cybersecurity engineer is actually about $101,000 per year, which is pretty high, I know. Um, so I actually found this number a bit surprising because even if you look up something like software developer, average salary, and this information is all pulled from Glassdoor. So it's one consistent source, but even if you look up something like the salary of a software developer in the US in general, it's about $97,000, which is again very high. Um, but I was a bit surprised to see that a cybersecurity engineer made more than a software engineer. I do agree though, that it is more niche and there are also more software developers out there who may lower the number or higher the number depending on whatever companies or roles 
or cost of living areas that they're working in. But just take these numbers with a grain of salt. They are very broad and you could be making less than this number, but you could also be making way more than this number. It really depends on what sector you decide to go into. Of course, if you're working for a company that really, really requires cybersecurity and wants the best cybersecurity team out there to protect their client data, then you're likely gonna get paid more, especially if you live in a higher cost of living area like California or New York. And in terms of certifications, I really do think that both of these roles would benefit from basically the same certifications, which are the Security Plus, which as a beginner, the Security Plus, the Network Plus, and then eventually the CISSP, the CEH for a cybersecurity analyst would be good. Although the CEH is definitely a bit more niche, and if you're trying to get into pen testing after being a cybersecurity analyst, then that's maybe when you would go for something like the CEH or, or a more advanced certification for hackers. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed and any questions that you might have about any of these two roles. As someone who has worked in both roles myself, I do think that they're very good learning experiences in your early career and even in your mid or late career if this is something that you want to pursue. And you can kind of become a jack of all trades before deciding to niche down if you want to or go into whatever other fields that you're interested in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesday at 2 p.m. and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.